So it's day two. It's Monday. Got a nice little breezy top. It's raining outside. Like it rained really good last night. Sprinkled most of the morning, I guess. Um, but I'm kind of relieved because some of that heat slowed down a little bit. Um, today's to do because it is very likely that most of the pools are going to be closed. I am going to go to breakfast. I am going to do some reading on my patio. Um, oh, after I finish breakfast, I'm going to go up to guest services and book a massage and see what other treatments I can get for myself tomorrow. Tomorrow is my official birthday. Tomorrow is Tuesday, July 16th, a national holiday, if you didn't know. And I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to make a reservation for the steakhouse here and get a massage. Good morning. You know, I'm not going to cheat myself. I'm going to treat myself. Um, I may be wrong. The pools may be open. Or maybe people are just going to make them open. I don't know. Um, but I do want to update y'all on this. One thing I realized about traveling is that you have to really know yourself, love yourself, be comfortable being by yourself. You cannot be afraid to speak to people, to have conversations, if you're the type of person who needs interaction. I don't meet a stranger. Now, I'm not here to learn your life story, but just general, hey, hi, good morning. You can't be afraid to do that. That, to be honest, is a great skill set in any industry. I know I'm a hairstylist and a content creator and influencer. How are you going to connect with people if you're always waiting on them to make the first move with communication? How do you let people know what services you offer, what products you offer, if you are too afraid to speak to people? How are you going to elevate in your career field, whatever industry you're in, if you are too afraid to start the conversation about why you are an asset and you deserve a increase in pay or you deserve a promotion. Closed mouths don't get fed. Well, that's what Ronnie said off the Players Club. So, in my opinion, knowing how to talk to people, knowing how to be the first to start a conversation, being okay having a conversation. Good morning, man. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm doing good. Just knowing how to communicate, period, is a life skill that you need in every aspect of life. So that skill set that I have has definitely helped me in my travels today. So I'm going to go and have some breakfast and then go book my services and I'll see what else I can get into. Um, I hope that the rain stays away. They had karaoke last night. I have decided I'm going to do karaoke. If they have it again, either today or tomorrow. And I'm going to sing like this, my personal concert. Uh, I practiced last night in the shower. I sounded real good in my head. But guess what? Even if I don't sound good in real life, these people ain't gonna never see me again. Why do I care? I'm gonna go have fun. I'm living the moment.
Y'all see my tan coming through? Y'all see that tan coming through? Listen, when I say I have been by the pool or by the beach all day long, I went to breakfast, I went and booked my massage for tomorrow, I, what else did I do? Oh, and then I went to the beach. No, I came and took a nap first. I came and took a nap first. But let me show y'all my dress because I'm getting ready to go outside. It's giving very much vacation, Thami. Yes. So I believe this dress is so pretty. I love, I love the neckline. Uh, let me see if I can give y'all a little better shot of it. Okay. So that's me tonight. This is this is the look for tonight. Where am I going? I don't know. Um, probably we'll go to dinner. Ooh, I'm glistening. Focus, camera, focus. There we go. Is it focused? Am I blurry, y'all? If I'm blurry, just charge that to the day. Because when I say I went to the other side of the resort today, so there's a family-friendly side and then there's an adults only side. The adults only side will see me again tomorrow, baby, because the way they were making them drinks, those drinks were delicioso. I think that's the right word. So I am gonna go to dinner, but I'm gonna take y'all with me because I am hoping that they do karaoke again tonight like they did last night. I'm not making no promises, but if I feel encouraged enough, I'm gonna do karaoke tonight. Did y'all know I can hold a tune? I can hold a tune a little bit. It's gonna crack if I go too high, I go too low. But I'm here to have fun. These people will never see me again. And we'll see. If they do karaoke tonight like they did last night, I'm up there, okay? So let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. restaurants where it's first come ser first serve just come have a seat eat and then there are four restaurants where you have to make reservations so because tomorrow is my birthday i made a reservation for their steakhouse um i wish i would have made a reservation for the japanese it's like a hibachi grill i might see if they can swap my reservation but regardless um, the steakhouse looks nice. It looks good. So we'll go with that tomorrow So today, I don't know if y'all can see baby, but your girl is tan. 
I was on the beach yesterday. I was on the beach today. I was by the pool yesterday. I was by the pool today. I fully intended on tanning and it looks like I am succeeding. I am going to, now tomorrow is going to be a packed day, I think. Um, I'm going to get up in the morning and go have breakfast at the adults only inn because I have not eaten there. And then I'm going to go lay out on the beach for a while and enjoy my last day available to go to the beach. Um, and then I have access to the spa. Well, really, you have access to the spa at any time, but they have a steam room and they also have a hydrotherapy bed i know i'm not saying that right but i'm gonna do all of that first because that comes with my stay but then i booked a massage i booked a body scrub and i booked a facial i ain't gonna tell y'all no lie i'm a little concerned about the facial because y'all know i'm funny about what i put on my face but when in rome and i just pray that everything is hypoallergenic and i don't have no issues but i will say this Y'all know I gotta come and give y'all some kind of prolific word because as I go through this trip, I discover more and more about myself. And that was the whole purpose. The purpose was to reset, relax, refresh, but also regain my confidence and improve my belief in myself. So while I was at the beach today, I was just amazed at how incredible God is watching these waves and looking at the sky and I'll be honest that I became emotional because I had been questioning God not because I don't have faith not because I don't believe but because again I over the last few months have been doing everything that I know to do in order to have success in my life and get the results that I want out of life and I operate with my discernment I wait on instructions I pray and I ask God to order my steps make it plain and make it clear God I do not move without his approval and because things had happened the way that they had been happening I wasn't getting the results that I wanted I felt like maybe I was moving on my own accord because I know there is no way that if God gave me the approval to do these things, then things should be happening the way that they are. And I didn't question God, but I started questioning whether or not I was hearing him, whether or not I was being obedient. And I started questioning, I won't say everything, but a lot. Am I supposed to be? here am i supposed to still be owning and operating a salon am i supposed to be a social media you know influencer and a content creator was i supposed to be in that relationship was i supposed to do this with my children and because i don't want to ever be disobedient to god things not working out in a positive manner is making me question whether or not i'm listening whether or not I'm following the right instructions and whether or not I have chose to ignore my discernment because I want something so badly. So while I'm at the beach today, I'm just looking at, at the just overall amazing way that God speaks to us. And I know this is a travel vlog, but I have to share this. I started realizing that my faith was not at the forefront, that I was trying to do it. And I had to realize that everything that God gives us is for us to give God the glory and to share that with other people. I cannot say I did this, I accomplished it. Everything that I have is because God gave it to me. And the moment that I got the big head, the moment that I started feeling like, oh, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that, because that's what I want. Even though I was praying on it, I still was operating in my own flesh. I was still operating how I wanted to. And that's not good. No bueno, as they say in the native language here, like I'm bilingual. But I don't know what it was about being in the quiet. Ironically, 
I was on the beach and it was only one other couple out there in that area that where we were at and it was over 50 chairs. So I had a lot of space to myself and I am actively reading how to win friends and influence people. If you run a business, if you deal with the general public, this is a must, week, must, must read. This is a must read. Um, and it was just something in there that spoke to me about showing appreciation over criticism and recognizing that we have to we have to address that people are human and they want to be seen and they want to be heard and they want to be appreciated and starting to process that through i started realizing i've been too busy trying to be a boss i've been too busy trying to run trying to dictate that i forgot that i'm also supposed to appreciate and i'm also supposed to teach I have to run a business, but there's a better way to do it. And a guy was just really speaking to me today. And I'm so grateful that I had that moment. That's what this trip was about for me. I just wanted to make sure that I reconnected with him and make sure that I'm listening to him and not to myself. Even though God says that we can have the desires of our heart, we still have to be obedient. And if he tells us no or not yet, or if he gives us another instruction or Whatever the case may be, we have to listen and be patient and wait until he tells us what we should do. So that's my prolific word for the day. Um, I am probably about to go ahead and upload this content that I had from yesterday and today to go ahead and start formatting part three. Um, I'm not sure, but today was a good day. Today was a day of revelation. I left that beach feeling light, assured. Um, and that was the point. So I am going to tell y'all good night because I am about to shower and get in that good bed back there and watch me some Netflix. Tomorrow is my birthday. I'll be 37 on July the 16th. And I am excited to be blessed with another year. So let me go ahead and wrap this up for tonight because y'all know I'll ramble. But I will see y'all in the morning. We're going to walk to the beach together. But I'll probably record it on my phone. So just FYI, if the audio and visual quality changes, that's why. Because again, I'm not taking this camera outside on the beach. I can see a disaster happening. I love y'all and we'll see each other in the morning.